Hello YouTube, here we are, just a couple of us baddies. I'm Aaron. I'm Jake. And this is Star Conflict. This is a uh, free game, it's developed by a Russian uh, gaming develop development company. Uh, I can't think of the name right off the top of my head. I think it was Gaijin, Gaijin Gaming, something like that. Um, and it's been in beta, just celebrated its first year anniversary, uh, I think a couple weeks back. And what this essentially is, is it's a, it's a space fighting game. You, you have certain ships, and you adapt to the roles that those ships play off of, and uh, you take them out in a series of battles. You can choose PvP and PvE. They have certain scenarios that pit you up against computers. Uh, and in the PvP modes, you have certain ones like destroying a certain ship, like the uh, target or the designated captain of the enemy team, and you also have uh, just plain capture the beacons, which is like domination, except you don't get to trade off captures and stuff. Once you capture something, it's captured essentially. Uh, so, it's, uh, you know, what you do is you have certain ships here, and we'll we'll show this to you as as we go along. But what you're looking at here is uh, a ship class of the interceptor. Uh, this is like the fightest, or the, wow, the, this is the fighter in the, in the fastest class of ship they have. It, it can go pretty fast. Uh, it's, of course, it's got weak shields, weak hull, but, you know, the firepower is okay. The, its speed is great. Its maneuverability is even better. And then over here, you have, you will see uh, the assault class ship, which is heavier. This is more of your, the fighter that you might see in any regular Hollywood space movie, you know. So the interceptor is considered the scout, the assault one's considered the actual bulk, the fighter, the backbone, and then over here, wait for it, boom, you have the frigate, which is ultimately some of our favorite ships in this game, mainly because it's hull strength, it's shield strength, and it's firepower. You outload this sucker with the best lasers you can find, and it, it'll take you far, but, uh... To give a, a quick overview, there are three different factions. This takes place after, I think, Earth is is wiped out, and uh, the remaining humans have divided up into three different factions, and they've all altered themselves in some way, shape, or form. You've got the Empire, which is your basic Marine slash, you know, militarized faction. And then you have the Federation, which is your free peoples, those those punks that run around and, and basically form little units here and there that... that uh, advertise freedom and uh, and complete independence from anything else, and that's what that's the faction I'm currently playing as. So their ships aren't as strong as some of the other ones, but they they do their part. And then you have Jericho, which is a recent faction that they allowed to be <coughs> played, which is full of uh, I guess you could say I don't know for any of you sins of a solar empire player out there, those they're they're like the advent. They they have a, a high structure. Uh, yeah, Jake laughs. Uh, there's a high hierarchical structure. They, they're they're very devoted to their work, and they they kind of alter themselves so that they can they can adapt better. And they're they're basically seen as some of the outcasts out of the three factions. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in and uh, set you guys up with what some of the combat looks like. Jake, if you'll go ahead and get us started. Oh, yep, I'm ready. Yep. He was waiting for that one. He had his finger on the mouse. Ah. <laughs> now, as you can see, it says there's total pilots. It's 1,700 right now. This game used to not have that many. It used to be about 200 a day if you were lucky. We have, like... We, like, insta queued there. Yeah, on a PvE mission. <sighs> Yeah, well, we haven't really played too much PvE, but... That's true. Yeah. Uh-oh, we're doing... Which one are we doing? Shutting down defenses. Oh, this is one of their later ones. This is going to be... This is going to be sort of fun. <laughs> I've only played this one once. I've only played this one, like, three times, and all three times, I don't think we ever got to the end. We got past round two of three. Okay, so, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll go ahead and give it this an intro. Shutting down defenses. What's happening here is we're on a dreadnought map. This huge ship... It's in the center, surrounded by all these main weapons and control stations, is a dreadnought in construction, an enemy dreadnought, which is a massive battle cruiser. And it's up to this, us, our squad of four, to hop in there and take down the beacons for this round. The next round we'll be taking down a bunch of huge guns, which is a, a lot of fun. So here's what happens. You see Jacob right there in front of me. He's dodging in there as the interceptor. And we've already got our... One, 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 to, one, one, one. Nice. Take out the flag types, and then you have to run in and cap the, the beacon. Whoop. 
And the, you have your basic controls here. You've got WASD, forward, backward, strafing, left and right. Um, Q and E are your rotators. So if I press Q, I rotate to the left. E, rotate to the right. Um, and you have a space bar and left <coughs> alt. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Left alt, if you hold it down, that is your uh, altitude D... I don't know, what, what would you call that? Altitude decline, Jake? I guess. Yeah, space bar is your altitude know, incline. Like 3D yeah, space. yeah, yeah. That's true. It is. It's like it's a 3D space. So, it's just space bar sends you straight up. It's your bottom thrusters. Uh, alt sends <coughs> you straight down. Your upper thrusters. Oh, that's not cool. Where did that come from? Uh oh. Uh oh. I've got a defender. There we go. Whoa! Whoa! All and right. you may have noticed I'm, I'm shooting these. Oh, you're going to be? Okay. The one thing that's difficult about this is that these guys don't stop spawning. I'm going to dogfight for a bit. Oh, that's going to look bad. There we go. Okay. Yeah, be careful running into stuff on this game. You, uh... <laughs> you... You can really damage your hull before they even get through to your shields. Um, uh, what you see me... Oh, I've got a captain over here. This is gonna suck. Captains are elites, in case you can't read the, uh, or you can't see the, uh, title there. It's a little ridiculous. Oh! They don't melt like every other... Yeah, game. they really don't melt like any other... It's it's almost like fighting another player. There we go, got that guy, though. Not These a guys deal. have under control. I'm coming. Okay. Alright, so, I was tanking on some of those guys there. What happens in this in this form uh, is that the the ships, the enemies, don't stop coming. So it's a little it's a little difficult, especially when you're going for the last the uh, last beacon over here because that's where they spawn the most, and they just continually hit you. And if you're hit trying to cap a beacon, it immediately prevents the cap. So you can see the uh, difficulties that it might present to a you know a small flight squadron of four. And then you've got these flak type guns down here, which I absolutely hate. Luckily, I've got some epic, some ec epic uh, plasma cannons, so I'm kind of melting through those guys. Uh, and speaking of plasma cannons, you've got three different types of primary weapons in this game. You have kinetic weapons, you have plasma weapons, which you see me wielding here, and you've got uh, beam weapons, or those are like lasers, constant streams of devastating energy if you're a frigate. Uh, and you have different variations for each one. You have like rapid fire plasmas. You have you have uh, rapid fire rail guns. Rail guns are the kinetics, and you'll see those most of the time on. Uh, those are usually on. What would you say? Do you find them on interceptors more or assaults? Which ones? Rail guns. Yeah, rail guns and kinetic weapons. Assault. Assault. Okay. Are you sure it's assault? Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Because you'll usually see the fast-acting plasma cannons on the uh, interceptors, because they can get in really fast, and they just dodge around your blind spots until they hit you. It's it's quite it's quite awesome. I have to admit, the tactics that they've given really fulfill the roles of the ships. I mean, would you agree with that, Jake? If yeah, you're, I mean, if definitely. you're an interceptor, you do have like one job or a few jobs, and those all involve you using your speed to its best ability, you know. And if you're an assault, then you usually try and bulk it out and uh, and dogfight with some of the uh, bigger classes. <clears throat> and if you're a frigate, then you usually just try and sit back and and play a game of of who's going to survive the longest with other frigates. So it's kind of fun. <laughs> you you have a bunch of mini mini battlefields on an on an actual battlefield between the different class types and. Uh, and you'll get to see that as we'll play. We'll probably play a couple PvP rounds after this. But each, each, uh, as I was going, they're explaining the uh, damage types. Each weapon has a certain damage type: uh, kinetic, plasma, and beam. Now, or I'm sorry. They, well, the beam is thermal. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's called thermal here. Uh, so what that does, what each one does, is different. Oh uh, wait, let's see. I want to go for this guy. We just capped them all. We did. We did just cap them all. That was easier than I thought it would be. I think they may have taken down the difficulty level on some of those, oops, some of those uh, beacons. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Well, that was only round one, so we had a bunch of bonuses. That's true. Yeah, I forget. As round two, it's kind of like diminishing returns in this game. As you go, as you progress through the different rounds, you 
you have your bonuses decreased and enemies eventually have uh, better bonuses. But back to the weapons thing, uh, plasma, obviously it's like a, it's an energy based, so it's, it's pretty good at getting through shields. So that's what you generally want to use whenever you're facing someone with heavy shields, such as, say, a frigate, or if you want to make quick work of an interceptor that's dodging around you. And since they go after shields, they're not very good against hulls. So once you break through the shields, it's usually good to have a second weapon modifier and switch immediately to that one, which allows you to use uh, kinetic damage. And they have modifiers that allow you to basically change the, the type of damage that your primary weapon can do. Now, it does require a small amount of work on your part as a pilot, but I think that's all part and parcel with the game, and it makes it really a unique experience. So... The only reason I'm kind of melting through these guys with my plasma weapon is A, because this is PvE and ships, enemies are, is, it's very, very easy in this game type, and B, because I happen to have some amazing plasma cannons for a, a tier 3 ship, and since I mentioned it, I'll go ahead and explain it right quick, right before I jump into the other two weapon types, but you have different tiers of ships, obviously, and for any of those of you who have played World of Tanks, this is basically the space version of that game. Except I think it's more balanced. I, I still get mad and I, yeah. I rage sometimes at the uh, at the matchmaking. <laughs> you'll you'll see that later on in some other gameplay. But this game is pretty much the the space version of World of Tanks, and it does a better job than, uh, in my opinion, than World of Tanks does. But as I was going to explain, a kinetic, there we go, that's the second one I was going to talk about. Kinetic damage is the rail guns that you heard myself and Jake talking about earlier, and uh, those, that's all hull. So it's like bullets, you know, mm. high, high intensity bullets that are used out in space conflicts. So you want to use those after you've breached the shields of your opponent. And like I said, there's weapon modifiers for that as well. And then the third type of, the third type of uh, damage is thermal. Thermal does average amount to both shield and hull, which is why it is best used by by frigates. So you can just sit there and train your guns on them and try and melt them down before they dodge behind an asteroid, which is very common in this game. You you can expect a lot of dodging from players, especially in the faster ships. They you know no one wants to die. I don't know why. Yeah. So now we're just killing. Yeah, yeah, we're just shooting up, shooting up the guns now. Oh, look at that! Wow. We made it to the final round. This is going much faster than I've I thought it would. This. I've never made it this far either. Uh, well, I've made it this far, but I've never made it past this. Oh, and something else I need to explain. Do you see these little things down here? I'm putting my cursor over them. One, two, three, and four. These are your active slots. And what these do? These can be modified and spec'd out to do almost anything. You've got command types. These modules, they, they've got command types, you've got personal uses, electronic warfare, and it's basically your preference. The ones I have currently offer an aura, a bonus, such as a shield adaptability, meaning that it, it'll, it gives you more, oh, how do I say it, more defenses to, as an overall bonus to anyone within the radius. So it's a good command module. Oh, gosh! Oh, my God. And the one you just see, you just saw me activate was a personal shield boost, which is helping to regenerate my shields, because I was not expecting that amount of firepower. And then the one in my first slot you see there is a, a hull regeneration, which I use whenever my hull becomes oh, too low. Gosh! Jacob's down. Oh, man. Oh, the I didn't know there were guys. Boy. They just, like, appeared. <laughs> yeah. Oh, snap. I think I'm being chased by a captain. I oh no, it's just space missile. I saw that. Am I who else left? Can you tell? Uh everyone except for me. Oh, okay, good. We didn't need you. <laughs> yep. Ah, it's good to hear. <laughs> and the oh I'm sorry, the fourth slot that you see me here that I have activated is uh as an Achilles module system, which is pretty useful, especially in PvE since they're weaker. It increases the amount of damage on any weapon, just f combat in general for any uh, allies within the radius, which is very, very useful. I think I see what killed you back there, Jake. Oh, wow, 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 yeah. wow! Oh, partially that missile turret that's about to shoot at you. 
I found its weak spot. I found its weak spot. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know if we'll actually be able to get this though. I'm I'm firing all my missiles at it. All my rockets. Oh yeah, I, I forgot to mention that's left. only one of them. I know it is. Oh no, that's not good. Oh. <laughs> Oh man, they have shields, they have barriers that go up? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah. It rotates which one is, is open to attack. Like, right? there's another one open to attack right now. Oh, I see <laughs> it now. <laughs> oh, it wants you. It wants oh, it does. You. It wants me so much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I need to get over here. Um, there's no friendly fire either. Yeah, there is no friendly fire. Some, some missiles. Some yeah, actually take that back. Missiles actually do give you friendly fire. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh, he's got you. He's got me picked. Oh gosh. Thank the versatility of the fighter. The assault. My goodness. I don't know what else to do. I'm just launching various missiles at this thing. They have too much health. They do. They have way too well. <laughs> you know, this is a perfect example of what not to do when you're facing hulled units. I'm using a plasma cannon. <laughs> and I'm not using one of the modules that allows me to tr turn it into kinetic damage. So, I am suffering the full effect of this hull against plasma. Whoops, I want to get out of that guy's la laser. I have kinetic. So Jake would have been the perfect asset if he hadn't have gotten himself killed. <laughs> I can get myself killed, they killed me. That's, no, no excuses. No excuses. I'm still gonna play this. Okay. Oh, frick. Pretty sure it was your fault. I had an Aegis system. It was you were in my Aegis system, too, which means it's still your fault. Too. So you were, you were suffering, or not suffering, you were benefiting from both Aegis system bonuses, which were allowing, you know, 15 points of increased durability in your shields. Or 15 uh, points of uh, shield resistance to all damage. Yeah. Which is very effective, especially in PvP. Gosh. This is gonna take forever. No, 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 no! That missile battery. What do you think it fires? Thermal? I have no idea. Oh, well. Dang it. Alright. Oh, gosh. Halfway. Well, half uh, it's way. over halfway. Oh, snap. We've got Captain Elites over here. I wonder what happens when we actually destroy one of these things. Ow! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! That's uncalled for. Why is it only targeting me? Probably the closest. Probably. Well, oh, I forgot to mention something. On the left, on this screen here, you see the reticles in the HUD. On the left is my speed. Whoops. On the far left, and on the uh, uh -huh. on the inner left there, you have my energy level. And on the right, outer right, you can tell kind of by the insignia that's at the bottom of the meter, where it says 7,000. That is my shield amount and my hull which is currently at 4,900 is shown there as well on the inner right and so that's basically how you tell how healthy you are. Whoa! I'm lucky that missile missed. Alright. Gift full shields and everything. I know. It's because I'm a tier 3 wolf. This class happens to be one of the coolest assault classes ever. Hmm. Here's why. I Why is there a fire no cloaked? I think it blew something up. Like it, it, that was its final missile. In case you guys didn't realize, there I just popped what is a special. You press F. Every ship has a special. Oh frick! Oh frick! Every ship has a special, and you use that special by pressing F. And it's very. I mean it. In almost every ship that you play, it's very effective. So I highly recommend it. <laughs> Use your special. 
All right, there we go. That was a commander. Those things are difficult to take down. Woo! Uh, you know what that was? That was the missile launcher aiming right at me. Let's go ahead and dive down here. I'm not quite sure how we plan on actually taking this thing out. I think some of our teammates are... Oh! It's like a napalm missile. Well, everyone's still alive. Right, but I think we're getting like this battle fatigue going on where we can't just like take on all these uh, squadrons and the uh, missile launcher at the same time. I know I can't. Holy crap, that's ridiculous. Let's retreat to the cover of this... Uh, of this of this frigate over here. Oh, and as you can see, uh, if you look above at the very top, right below where it says "objects destroyed," these are all the effects I'm currently under. So, staying within the radius of this frigate, who is obviously going as somewhat of a support role, is very beneficial because it kind of doubles up on the effects that I'm using right now. And he's he's also using some different ones, such as hull and shield regeneration. Wow, it fires in batteries. We're doing all right, though. I mean, we've, we've almost got the first one down. The second one's below half health. Whoops. Little did I know it had me picked. Oh, oh well. <coughs> it's kind of hard to turn, because the thing is... It used to be, like, insta-turn, and now it's much slower. <laughs> it depends on what you have. That's true, yeah. The interceptor is much easier to turn very quickly. And we'll show that to you in a... In a, another PVE or PVP match after this. I feel sorry for Jake. He didn't see what was happening. <laughs> so he died, and now he's having to watch the rest of us finish the game without him. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait, okay. That guy's on your team. I couldn't tell. I had, like, the blood rage going on. User joined your channel. Oh, jeez. Uh oh. <laughs> Definitely Morrison. <laughs> hey, first turret's down. Come on, bring out the second turret. Oh! Ooh. That's the sound of my shields going out. I have half shields. I just recuperate. Yeah, because I'm using my my active, my shield regenerator. Yeah, full shield oh, full snap. Active. Okay, that was close. I thought that was a commander. I do have full shields. As a wolf... I have better regeneration. Fire the missile launcher. No, I dogfight. That's what I do is assault. That guy's in like fucking iron ovas. Oh my gosh! He's dead. He's. Is. Oh my gosh! Whoa, whoa! Close to dying. He's not dead yet, though. He's not dead. I thought he was. He was the one that was calling for help was. earlier. Like uh, his his captain was. Cry baby. <laughs> Man up! Take your death. <laughs> How did that thing hit me? Wait a second! Ow! We have Bring a frigate. This frigate, Casey, is using his uh, his or her. He's using plasma cannons on their frigate, not thermal. Yeah, that's something you can do. Recommend it. It's not You're recommended. Yeah. I know. Go get it. Finish him. Finish him. Finish him. I got it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Yay. So we won. That was our first PVE mission. And afterwards. You always get to search for loot. I have a purple dot here. I do not understand what that is. Yeah, Whoa. I don't know what that's about either, but I got a thing out of it. I got a thing out of it too.
Oh. And for successfully beating like all rounds of this, we get like four four chances to detect loot. Success. All right, that was good. All right. All so right. Do PV or PVP? I'm thinking we do, I don't know, it's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and uh, call this one good and uh, in our next in our next playthrough of this game, you'll see us play uh, play in some more combat oriented events. I'm not going to do so much tutorial and, you know, just jabbing it up through the uh, microphone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to chatter. So, I will uh, see you guys in our uh, in our very very close to future gameplay. Um and I <laughs> if you guys have any questions just leave them in the comments or send us a message. Uh, I hope you guys try this game out. It's definitely worth a shot. And uh, I hope to see you soon.